Babe, we'll be all right. We'll find her. All right, Adam? I have every man that's available working on this. Don't give up, JR. Who said anything about giving up? I want to find my wife. Jamie, are you okay? I'll feel better when we find Babe. Four of us. It's almost like we're family. Why the heck did it take something like this for it to happen? Jackson ends up discovering us and trying to move. Did you get the inventory all figured out? Yes, I'm a crackerjack. Lily, I um, was wondering how you'd feel about, about moving to Boston. Now? Yeah, well, or as soon as we can. Boston is really nice in the summer. My mother took me there once when she was, when she was better. But we just got our new jobs here. Well, I don't want you to give up on MIT. And don't classes start soon? So we will, we better get moving. And we can have enough time to get an apartment. No, but and like, I, I haven't finished the application process, remember? I'm still applying for winter semester. But think of all that time you'd have for fun. To get settled, get new jobs, all that good stuff. But if we left now, we'd never reach our budget goal. Was there any way... To maybe adjust our budget? No, we need to stay here long enough until we have enough money to afford it. Right now, we're living in a free apartment, and we're both working and saving up. We'd have to stay here at least another five months to get all the money we need. I was worried. I mean, that that's all. About what? Our plan is going really well. well your dad, he really upset you. I know, he did. I got mad and a little sad, but he was wrong, and he's been wrong a lot lately. But as long as we do our job and we do it well, they can't fire us. That's what the law says. Okay, well then we're, we're going to stay here and work. Did you get that certificate of permanent occupancy yet? No. No, but, but I'll go downtown and I'll, I'll get it right now. Good, I can cross it off my list. Lily, I love you. I love you too, Doc. Well, I certainly never thought I'd be taking my own daughter to court and dragging you through living hell like this. Don't do it, Jack. Maybe let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Do you really believe that Lily can make it through this life all on her own? She's not on her own, Jack. That is the point. No, Olivia, that is not the point. The point is she's autistic. She's easily frightened. She's easily manipulated. That pervert, some guy in New York, all right, almost succeeded in getting her into his bed. She's been playing a mind game with her. And that's horrible. But to label her like that? I understand that, but she's with a grown man who's in full control of his faculties. He's lying to her. He's taking advantage of her. And I'm sorry, I don't care whose book you're reading, that is not a marriage. And how do you think your relationship with your daughter will ever recover from this? Let me talk to her. I don't know. She likes me. Maybe she can hear me when she can't listen to you. 
I really don't think that'll help. Let me try. Maybe Jonathan knows I'm on to him. Who the hell knows what this guy might do, okay? We don't have a lot of time here. Jack, before you walk into a court and have your daughter labeled legally incompetent, annul her marriage, and break her heart, at least give me a shot. <laughs> 